गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट टूडे वी शेल डिस्कस ऑक्सीडेशन रिडक्शन रिएक्शंस रेडॉक्स रिएक्शंस एंड इफेक्ट्स ऑफ ऑक्सीडेशन रिडक्शन रिएक्शन ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन इन एवरीडे लाइफ एंड विद दिस दिस लेसन would be completed in cbse 10 class oxidation reduction reaction would be explained in term of oxygen and hydrogen electronic concept of oxidation reduction reaction is beyond your scope so let's see when magnesium burns in area it combines with oxygen and form magnesium oxide when natural gas or methane burns in air it forms carbon dioxide and water and energy is liberated in the form of heat and light when copper is heated in the presence of air copper which is a brown metal gets coated with a black layer of copper second oxide since it is black in color it is also known as black copper oxide so the chemical reactions in which oxygen is combined to a substance are called oxidation reaction the substance to which oxygen is combined is said to be oxidized so in this reaction we can say that magnesium is oxidized to magnesium oxide methane or natural gas is oxidized to carbon dioxide and water copper second uh, copper oxide is oxidized to copper second oxide which is black in color consider this reaction hydrogen sulfide reacts with chlorine to form hydrogen chloride hcl and sulfur in this reaction hydrogen is separated from hydrogen sulfide to form sulfur so here oxidation of hydrogen sulfide is taking place due to separation or removal of hydrogen so on the basis of these reactions we can define oxidation reaction as those reaction in which either oxygen is combined or hydrogen is removed from a substance not see what a re reduction reaction in the same reaction hydrogen separated from hydrogen sulfide combines with chlorine and form hcl since hydrogen is combining with chlorine therefore we can say that in this reaction reduction of chlorine to 
SCN is taking place. Now consider one more example. When hydrogen gas is passed over heated copper oxide, black copper oxide, a brownish metal is obtained. reaction oxygen is separated from copper second oxide copper second oxide so the chemical reaction in which either hydrogen is combined or oxygen is separated from a substance are called reduction reaction dear student oxidation reduction reaction do not take place in isolation. They always take place simultaneously. If a substance is oxidized, it is at the cost that the other substance is reduced. See, for example, in this reaction, hydrogen is separated from hydrogen sulfide to form sulfur. So oxidation of H2S is taking place. This hydrogen separated from hydrogen sulfide is combining with chlorine to form HCl. Since hydrogen is combining with chlorine, therefore we can say that reduction of chlorine is taking place. So it is clear from this example that oxidation and reduction reaction always take place simultaneously. Hence these reactions are called redox reaction. RED for the reduc reduction. OX for oxidation. So oxidation reduction reaction take place simultaneously and the, the reactions are therefore called redox reaction. Consider this example. Iron third oxide react to be the aluminium. To give aluminium oxide and iron. In this reaction. Oxygen is separated from iron to form iron, iron ox. Therefore, we can say that in this part, reduction of Fe2O3 is taking place to Fe. And oxygen separated from, uh, from Fe2O3 combines with aluminium to form aluminium oxide so we can say that aluminium is being oxidized to Al2O3 so obviously oxidation reduction reactions take place simultaneously the substance which give its oxygen or which remove hydrogen from a substance is called an oxidizing agent. For example, in this reaction, Fe2O3 is providing oxygen for the oxidation of aluminium. So Fe2O3 is an oxidizing agent. Aluminium, as it is separating, it is removing oxygen from Fe2O3. Therefore, aluminium is a reducing agent. Here you can see that a reducing agent itself gets oxidized. So the substance which is oxidized is reducing agent. 
and the substance which is reduced is an oxidizing agent. So in this reaction, the substance oxidized is aluminum. The substance reduced Fe2O3 oxidizing agent Fe2O3 reducing agent aluminum. So redox reactions are those reactions in which oxidation reduction reactions take place simultaneously if one substance is oxidized the other substance is reduced now oxidation reactions play important role in our everyday life Actually, it is the oxidation process in our body which is responsible for the process of aging. In this part, we shall discuss two examples of oxidation in everyday life. Number one, rancidity. And number two, rusting of iron. You would have observed that food items which contain fat and oils, when stored for long period of time they start smelling they give out bad smell and their taste also change this is what we call rancidity in the presence of moisture and oxygen fats and oils which are actually esters are hydrolyzed and oxidized. The hydrolysis result in the formation of vapors of fatty acids which have unpleasant odor. So the food items which contain fats and oils when stored for long period start to smell and their taste also become unpleasant. This phenomena is called rancidity. We can prevent rancidity in a number of ways. Obviously, rancidity occurs when the food items come in contact with oxygen. So, if the supply of the oxygen is cut off by storing the food items in airtight containers, the food item which contain fats and oil can be stored for a long period. And that's why you see that the potato chips are stored in aluminium bags which are flushed in with nitrogen. Nitrogen provides an inert atmosphere and prevents the oxidation of oil present in the potato chips. The process of oxidation can be slowed down by decreasing temperature. Therefore, the food items which contain fat or oil, for example, butter, can be stored in refrigerator. When it is stored in the refrigerator, the process of oxidation is slowed down. Number three, 
some food items are added with certain chemicals which are called antioxidant which prevent the oxidation of the fats and oils present in the food items and thus prevent their oxidation and rancid. they are becoming rancid. So these are the some methods of preventing rancidity. Dear student, you would have observed that iron objects like grills, railings are usually get coated with a brownish layer. This brownish layer is usually crumblesome, soft and flaky. So it is separated from the iron object and the fresh surface of the metal becomes available for the further rusting process. These iron objects are said to be rusted. Now we shall see what happens when rusting occurs and why does rusting occur. Iron objects when come in contact with moisture moist air moisture and air oxygen obviously moist air contains moisture as well as oxygen they form hydrated oxide This hydrated oxide is reddish brown in color and it is commonly known as rust. So the process of formation of a layer of hydrated ferric oxide on the iron objects due to its reaction with moist air is called rusting. As I told you, the rust is flaky, crumblesome and soft. So it gets separated from the metal and the fresh metal underneath is further exposed for the rusting process. So unless protected, the process becomes continuous and the metal becomes th thinner and thinner and weakens. So rusting weakens the matter. So it has to be stopped. The rusting can be stopped by cutting off the supply of oxygen or moisture or both. And that's why the iron grills are usually painted to prevent them from coming in contact with the moisture air and to prevent rusting. Similarly, greasing also prevent rusting. Galvanization of iron sheets prevents rusting. Galvanization, what is galvanization? The iron sheets are dipped in molten zinc so that a very thin layer of zinc is coated over iron sheets. This process of giving a thin coating of zinc over iron sheet is called galvanization. The galvanized iron sheets are not rusted. Finally, the rusting can be prevented by making an alloy like stainless steel, which is an alloy of iron, chromium and nickel. And it is rust resistant. So dear student, this lesson has been finished. Thank you.